In case you missed it, Ricada Lot was live last night on Locals for supporters only. So I'm a supporter now. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't pay too much. He he went live. He's he's got he's changing over kind of he's changing over the look of his live stream. What he plans to do on it, he does say that there will be、um, fewer references to alcohol. Virtually all alcohol references will be eliminated, but he didn't say that all would be. Maybe that's a lawyer thing. And he talks, and he says he's going to stand up, like stand instead of sit, <laughs> for his live streams, because he was, you know, before he was comfortable, and he would he could stream for six or seven hours at a time. So he thinks standing up, he'll get tired of standing, and you know, you tend to be more energetic when you're standing up anyway. This is part one. Of the live stream from locals last night, I'm breaking it up into segments.、Um, it's a it's over an hour the entire thing, and as of this morning, it's been about ten hours since he streamed, and the live stream has not yet been processed by locals, so we can't rewatch it yet.、Um, I did miss part of the last because when I joined, he was already maybe about twenty minutes in. I went straight to the beginning. You know, he ended the stream, and you can't continue to watch once he ends it. When I do have that, I'll post that for you as well. And here we go, Nick Rakeda. Hey guys, I assume you can hear me. If you can't hear me, let me know because whoo, I have no idea. I'm in my um, I'm in my sunroom. But、uh, I'm not down in my office right now. My office is.、Uh, I'm doing some redecorating down there. The、um, people mistake like things I say because they're retarded. Let's just get it out there.、Uh, oh, this stream becomes supporters only in one minute. Actually, fifty-one seconds.、Um, people mistake things that I say because they're retarded.、Uh, they well, or they want it to mean something different.、Um, I、uh, said I was working on、uh, my new studio or whatever, and、um, what I meant was the new design of my studio. The mic is way too hot. My bad. That should help. I think that should help. What I meant was the design of my new studio. Or not my new studio. My old studio was changing, right? So、uh, I was. I'm redoing stuff. One of the things someone got through major withdrawals. There you go. <laughs>、uh, the main thing that I am doing as part of all of this、uh, hubbub is I kind of have to remove. I don't have to. I shouldn't say that. It's not the appropriate thing. I'm、uh, removing as like a major theme of the show alcohol, at least for the, at least for the known future. Hmm. You said the mic is clipping very hot, but it's not showing me that on my. Th- it's it's actually showing. It's not doing that at all. Let me see. We'll get this thing set up. Yeah, I can see. I can see the volume. It is a little high. Hold on. What happened? We'll bring it down a bit. We'll bring it down a bit. That should be better. I'm not used to broadcasting with this mic in this room, going、uh, in the way it is. So, working on that. All right. So here we go.、Um, I'm removing most of the alcohol references from the show. I won't be drinking on the show, at least for quite a while,、um, just because. Like I guess it was maybe, maybe I drank too much on a show. I don't know if you guys know that sometimes I drink too much on a show. So that being said, 
uh, as part of that, I'm taking down, I really hate doing this specifically. I took down the, uh, the anniversary gift that Lady Raggett's got me. The anniversary gift that Lady Raggett's got me was the, um, the liquor bottle painting that was behind me. And um, I'm removing it from the background of the show, again, at least temporarily. And um, instead, I'm putting up my Joker painting behind me because... <laughs> right? Yeah? That's... Uh... I think you guys will like the Joker painting I have. I really do. It's a great painting. And um, I don't know. Sometimes you can be a fan of the world around you. You guys will see it. It'll be up. Uh, one of the other major changes I'm doing is I will be standing for the show, even down in my office. We're going to switch to a standing show uh, rather than sitting down. I think um, that's a big part of uh, of doing the show and keeping my energy level up and uh, keeping the show length actually at a reasonable pace rather than going to like six, seven hours of shows or whatever. Like I have done, I know I haven't done a lot of those recently, but um, by standing up, you know, it keeps me active and moving. It keeps me in my sort of uh, natural talking element. I don't like talking sitting down. I do it on the show or did it on the show because I had to. So I'll be doing standing streams. I have to work out a little bit of how I'm going to be manipulating, like uh, what the fuck is on the stream that you guys see and stuff like that. Working on all that, getting that done. But for now, I really, really wanted to like actually pop in and say, Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, because a lot's happened in the past couple of weeks. And as I'm sure you can be very sensitive about, like, I can't talk about a lot of it. There will come a day, I suppose, when things can be talked about. Uh, but for now, I have an ongoing criminal case. If you're not caught up. If you're not caught up, I have an ongoing criminal case. In the state of Minnesota, and, uh, you know, until that is resolved, I have to be a little bit circumspect about what I say about it. Um, obviously, uh, there are a lot of really well-meaning people out there who have a bunch of great advice uh, for that case. And I, I mean that I'm saying it a little bit sarcastically, but there are a lot of people who really do mean well, who've... Uh, who've said a lot and it's you find out very quickly who is um who has no idea like how criminal trials run uh, or criminal cases i should say and uh they're even many of them are lawyers uh some of them have trouble like keeping both eyes in a forward direction like in looking towards the future uh, some of them just always keep one eye on the grift. Uh, and um, they limp along in this weird sort of manner, trying to pretend that they have any fucking idea what's going on. Uh, they don't. They know so little that it's embarrassing. Uh, but, you know, that's, that's fine because they can pretend to be a lot of things. Like good with women. For example, mm. but that being said, we'll just move along past that, uh, and we'll just we'll just go ahead <laughs> and uh, not worry about it. Uh, some very well-meaning friends have reached out to me. And have sent me lots of, uh, you know, love and support and all of that stuff. You know, the problem is um, they want things like they're moving at the pace of Internet. They're moving at the uh, pace of Internet. They want things done like now. And like, guys, it's um, it's a criminal case in fucking Bumpkinville, Minnesota. 
uh, the prosecutor still has to like learn how to type. It's going to take a while. That's a joke. She knows how to type. I've worked with her before. She's very nice. Um, but no, so the, like literally legitimately people are like, you got to get this thing done and done and done. It's like, guys, it doesn't go that fast. It doesn't go that fast out here. It might in other jurisdictions or whatever. Out here it doesn't. And uh, really, there's a whole bunch of considerations that go into a case um, that affect the timeline. And I'm not in control of pretty much any of them. Uh, if you've never been charged with a felony, let me just enlighten you. The state tells you what will happen when. And that's about it. So that, because, that being said, uh, again, I'm not going to sit and talk about the case. Uh, you know I can't do that. I just want to give a shout out to many very good friends who have been out there supporting me, uh, offering wonderful advice, both in a personal and professional manner. Uh, everybody I have met uh, who's reached out privately has been relatively well-meaning, even... even the ones who have a whole lot of the situation wrong and the story wrong. And they have, um, you know, they have advice that's not really useful, even though it's well-meaning. And that's what people need to understand about uh, anybody in a, a sort of tumultuous situation, or you could call it crisis or trauma or whatever, is um, you should always, if you're the person who's not in that situation, you're talking to someone who is, uh, you should always remember that, if your advice isn't taken or heeded, it's not necessarily because the advice is bad, but the advice may not be appropriate for the situation based on something you do or don't know. Uh, and I, I'll give some special shout outs out there to people who've been really, really good uh, friends and companions through this behind the scenes. Uh, good logic obviously has been a great friend. Um, and uh, his first concerns, how are you doing? Like, how are you? How are you, my friend? And uh, he is, he's really been great. Megan Fox has always been concerned uh, about how I'm doing, how my family's doing. Um, and, and that's been really, really uh, great to see as well. Um, some of the others, I'm, I'm not going to mention some people because their, uh, you know, their discussions with me have been anonymous and confidential and they can stay that way. But uh, I will throw a special shout out to DUI guy um, who I am, I've been talking to as well. And uh, he's made a very, very generous uh, sort of offer towards me. Whether or not I uh, take him up on that offer it remains to be seen. Um, but he's been nothing short of uh, very, very fucking supportive and really, really uh, earnest and genuine in that support. So um, obviously there's a ton of my other friends who are out there. Uh, they know who they are. I'm not going to put everybody on blast. Uh, those three have been relentless. Oh, and I guess I would be remiss if I didn't say Ryan, the editor, Ryan, the editor, who's like credited to himself automatically with not being fired. So goddamn much. Uh, guys, if you don't know this, I'll only do this once. I'll only do this once, but Ryan, the editor, is one of the truly, genuinely uh, most stand-up people that, uh, that I've met in a long time. He's a great dude uh, and always, always primarily concerned with, um, you know, how the people in his life are doing, uh, even to the detriment of himself, which he shouldn't do because he deserves to be... Uh, he deserves to be like taken care of in, in his own way. And hopefully a nice boy will do that for him when he grows older. But um, he's a, uh, he's a genuinely great, great dude. Uh, and, and he's been, um, you know, he's been checking on me quite a bit. So I won't fire him for a little bit. Yes, there are others. There are others. Uh, Maiden Iron is pointing them out and other people are pointing them out. Viva and Barnes have been, uh, very steadfast stand-up guys. Barnes's indignation uh, about the circumstances of the search warrant are really interesting. Um, you know, there's I, I can't talk about arguments uh, or legal strategy 
uh, that I am taking or considering or whatever. But Barnes has some really interesting observations. And I think people can, uh, can go watch. So, like, look, I encourage you to watch whoever's analysis of whatever. There's some good analyses out there. There's some bad analyses out there, as always. I have watched basically zero of them. Um, I've gotten summaries. I've seen clips and stuff like that. I don't have time uh, to do it right now. It's um, it's crazy. Most of my free time right now is responding in some way to some messages from someone. And um, I someone's always like, uh, it, it's, it's weird because you want to like just queue up messages and be like, okay, I'll get this one, then this one, this one, and get them in order. But it doesn't work that way. What ends up happening is, I suddenly have, uh, you know, a little bit of time to go ahead and, and tackle some social media communications. And what I find is I'm responding to the most recent one that has hit me at that time. Uh, and, and that's the best way is uh, the support and the concern has been pretty overwhelming, which is great. I also have to say, obviously, Camelot, uh, my boy is out there. Um, guys, check out Camelot's racing shit. It's really, really fucking exciting how well that's going on. Um, Kurt, uh, Kurt, I see him in the chat. He's been awesome. Um, you know, really just a bunch of people have been great. I'm, I'm sorry if I missed someone. Uh, the people I talk to personally know who they are. So... I'm not going to sit here and uh, jerk everybody off, though. <laughs> I do see Camelot in the chat as well. What Camelot should be doing is racing. Do you guys know that Camelot is now a racist? He is a, he is a racer and a racist. He's in probably... Oh, shit! I, lead attorney, obviously. Always forgetting the black guy. Lead attorney has been, uh, has been wonderful. And again, I, I haven't watched everybody's shows... And some people like will send me a clip or something or like say, Hey, so-and-so said something about you. And, uh, some people like, uh, it's almost like they're concerned that someone might've said something negative at some stream somewhere. And guys, it's always been this way. People are allowed to have different opinions about me. They're allowed to make up their minds on, uh, whatever the, uh, I don't want to say the evidence that's getting a little fucking official here. Whatever the story that people know is, they're going to make decisions and judgments and assessments based on the story that they hear, right? That should be obvious. I will say this. Uh, I said it before. People completely misinterpreted this one as well. The story is something that is not what's being said how far off and what areas will differ all over the place. And this is, this is going well beyond legal. Uh, there's, I don't know, like I was, uh, I was like kind of like trending all over the place. I saw law and crime, uh, law and crime covered my search warrant. I cannot wait to go through the fucking law and crime coverage of my search warrant. Like I can, because mm, mm, like, of course they did. I don't begrudge them for doing it. I would have done it twice. Like if Dan Abrams ever gets, uh, if that fucking dude ever gets like, I don't know what he'd be charged with or whatever, I will make fun of him all day. So I would expect them to do the same, but I now want to go back, go back and chop up their analysis because it's going to be funny. Um, a lot of people have said a lot of really shitty things about me and, uh, and particularly me and lady rackets. And I will, I will say this one time, um, again, uh, the story and reality diverge in places, but I'll say this, uh, this way, um, People can only make value judgments and assessments based on what they have seen and heard. And uh, what they have seen and heard now will be their value judgment and assessment. And at some point, I'll either get the opportunity to correct that for someone or I won't. And that's life. Especially that's life in uh, any sort of media. 
you get the opportunity to speak and people may not always take the opportunity to listen. And if that's what people decide to do and they've made their judgments, then I can't begrudge them for that. Uh, of course, you know, when things are said about you and when allegations or inaccuracies crop up, you want to run out and address them. You want to immediately, immediately uh, put up the counter narrative. You want to say, this is wrong. This is wrong. This is a lie. This is bullshit. They know it, blah, 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 blah. And when you're charged criminally, you can't really do that. You just, you just can't. So uh, some of that is going to just have to wait a long time or maybe a short time. We'll find out. But uh, that being said, it's just, it's just how it goes. And I don't begrudge anyone their bad judgments, uh, except for people who actually know better. Um, you know, there are people out there who know uh, more of the story. And this is always true in every circumstance, but it's also true in this one. There are people out there who know more of the story than, uh, than they are letting on and uh, they are dishonestly speaking about it. And some people, um, you know, go ahead and for whatever reason, take up a position, uh, we'll say opposed to someone for a purpose that doesn't make sense in the long or short run to me. But and I know I have to speak cryptically about this because I'm not, I'm not here to throw people under the bus. I'm not here to like point any, any guns or anything. Oh God, no, those are gone. No, I'm not here to point anything at anybody. Um, but there are people out there who know things that they're saying are untrue. And there are people out there who know shit about my character and are saying things about my character that aren't true. And the worst of the worst, in my opinion, are the ones who not only know things and know about my character, but they also know their own character. And methinks some of them doth protest too much. And methinks maybe some of them have... Uh, adopted a position for personal gain and they'll do that. Like, that's fine. Again, I'm not going to call anybody out. I don't need anybody to do anything uh, or to, I don't need anybody to even stop watching or stop listening to anybody. And that's not the point. It's just, it's uh, I'm, I'm sharing with you guys, my experiences going through this. Cause this is kind of like a completely, this is foreign territory, man. I'm coming after one person and it's so gay. Oh, no, no, no. Believe me, I'm not coming after anybody. I made fun of legal mindset because he's a retard, but that's his own problem. Uh, I'm not even talking about him in this scenario at all. I literally just made fun of him because he's retarded. He acts like this super Chad ladies man as he looks off to the boys' room with one eye, the girls' room with one eye, and limps between them because he can't decide which one to go to. I'll make fun of him because he's dumb. That being said, I'm not going after anybody else right now specifically because I don't need it. And you should still watch him, by the way. And no one should stop watching Legal Mindset because I made fun of him. Uh, we're all allowed to make fun of each other, right? Like, that's okay. I thought. Is that not okay? But, uh, but yeah, the, there are people who are genuinely, um, what the fuck? I just realized I may have had another mic picking up something. So I didn't, I have two mics in the room. Uh, Cause it's also a karaoke setup, but uh, yeah, there, <laughs> there are other people out there who fit the criteria that I was talking about much better than him. Um, they'll know who they are. And, and I'm not here to burn or torch anybody. I really don't fucking care. People have to make their judgments based on what they know. Some people are making performative judgments based on, the opposite of what they know, and that's okay. Cheers to them. You learn a lot. You learn a lot at various times doing this job, which is the gayest shit I've ever heard or said. 
That's not the gayest shit I've ever said. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. It is June. Um, but you learn a lot in this sort of uh, world of fucking social media and, uh, and talking and networking with people about who actually is actual. Um, and you learn it at different times. Uh, triumphs, you learn a little bit. Crises, you learn a lot. And all you can do is keep going because you can never know ahead of time. You can try and judge people's character. You can try and take advice from other people, of course. But you can never actually know in enough time to really uh, make a value assessment of someone before you invest in them. I, oh, God, what a gross word that is. But like, uh, you know, as, as people uh, become part of your network and you you talk to them more and uh, cross promote and all that shit. You can't always know how things are going to turn out and you can't worry about it either. So I'm mad at Drexel. No, I'm not mad at Drexel at all. Why would I be mad at Drex? Barnes says the search warrant is a total crock. Look again, uh, I'm not going to comment on any of that stuff. I can't right now at some point if i comment about the search warrant it'll be done in a filing if that's an if by the way the state they're just waiting they're just waiting the state is like oh god can he please say something i hope they put all my gay jokes in a filing or whatever but uh no it's um If I'm going to say anything about the case, you'll find out about it in a filing, probably through my attorney. Uh, oh, it, everybody's like, don't represent yourself. Like, I know. Like, don't, right, you said you're going to represent yourself. I, no. I said at the arraignment, which by the way, uh, I said at the arraignment that I was representing myself for this arraignment because it's just an arraignment. Um, I knew the score. I actually knew pretty much exactly what my bail was going to be based on other bail set and possession cases in this County, especially ones that involve guns. Like I, if you had to, if I had to guess what bail would be, I would have guessed probably, I would have guessed 60 to $75,000 because I'm a pessimist. Uh, they said it at 50. I still think that's too high. I still think $50,000 uh, to show that you're like, not, you know, that you're, actually not even show to enjoy the not being guilty part of not guilty until proven. So, right. Like I do think that $50,000 is a little onerous, but the way bonding works, it doesn't end up being that much. Um, we won't get into it too, too much about that. The, those of you who know how bonding works will know. We can talk about it some other time. It's not, it's not where we're here. Off topics. What are your thoughts on Trump's guilty verdict? Uh, I knew he would be found guilty. Do I think he'll get prison time? No. But I'm going to say, how about Biden shitting himself in France today? Look, if I was in France, I'd be shitting myself too. Because the last time I was in France, it was different. Um, <laughs> where's the dog? Is Sunny, our dog? She's in the bathroom. At night, Sunny hangs out in our bathroom. Yeah, that was a weird one. People were like, the dog was taken or something. Like, ATF didn't raid the house. The dog's alive. Like, if ATF came. <laughs> like, okay, yeah. Uh, no, but ATF didn't come. It was just a local sheriff. So they didn't shoot the tiny pug. She's still alive. Um... Show us the dog. I can go get her in a minute. I'm happy to. When did I get a dog? Oh, when God cursed me. Uh, <laughs> but uh, no, yeah, they, there's so many, there's so many fucking wild stories out there. Uh, I've seen only a fraction of them. Like, obviously, I, I can't follow all the stuff about me. I don't know how other people do. Um, and I find out stuff from the internet. I'm like, oh, man, that's cool. Or that's not cool. Like sometimes, like, oh, my dog's dead. Shit. 
<laughs> but no, she's very much alive. I found out that she was dead. And then I also found out that she was alive when I just was like, Hey, Sonny. And she started yapping, uh, ceiling cats. Well, you know, they're floor cats here because I'm actually over my, my office is the right below me. And so they're floor cats here. They kind of up and down through the floor or whatever. Please comment on the status of Sonichu medallion. Uh, it's still here. It's still here. <laughs> 